Hi, it's Zan back from the Rubik's Cube, and today I have an unboxing from, well, I don't really know where. So, I received this package today, and it's from China, and the contents say Magic Cube, but that's about it. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know anything else. I don't know the company that sent it to me. Uh, it's on the package, but I don't recognize it from anywhere. So I'm going to assume that it's either CubesEZ or Light Take because those are the most likely candidates for sending a puzzle from China to me. Um, probably Light Take because Light Take is the only one out of those two that has sent me a puzzle before. But I really don't know what this is, so I'm actually kind of excited to get into it. Uh, so let's take a look. I was expecting a Yushin 5x5. Five five. That was what I was thinking, but I didn't realize that uh, Yushin also had this, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look. What else? Whoa. What is this? This looks like a cube twist uh fusion <laughs> mirror blocks or something like that that's kind of weird uh let's take a look at these puzzles this does seem like something that would come from light take as i have searched our store before and both of these things i'm pretty sure are on there but yeah here we go cube twist right here and then let's pop this Yushin open comes with a stand that's pretty cool uh, and then of course Colin now because he set the world record on the Yushin so yeah so I, you saw this this is kind of I don't know it has I don't know it's sparkly I guess I don't know I, I don't know the word for it but um yeah, cube stand. That's always cool. These caps seem to be popping out, which is not fun. As you can see, they're raised up. This one specifically has some damage right here. That's all right. Oh, you know what? There's some... Looks like there's some errors with the cuts. I don't know. They're like weird indents on the puzzle. As you can see right there. I don't know what those lines are there are for, but anyway, let's get into some first turns. Alright, well, it's uh, it's pretty smooth. It definitely does remind me of the Shang Shao. It's not specifically, it's not particularly better than the Shang Shao out of the box. Um, I don't think much work can be done to it either. I mean, these center caps are definitely, definitely look like they're a lot easier to pop out with these little holes underneath. Yeah. They're definitely a lot easier to pop out compared to the, uh, Shang Shao, uh, which is good. Also, this doesn't have any stickers, which means that there are no misalignments as far as lines on the stickers. If you know about the Shang Shao, there are lines on the stickers that they have, and you have to match up the lines as well, which causes some parity later on with some certain stuff because you have to make sure everything matches. All right. So that's the solve right there. It's not a horribly turning puzzle. It turns pretty well. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, nothing too special though. If you have a Shang Shao, there's no reason to go out and buy this. But if you're looking for a fun shape mod, this is definitely a good option. Alright, so next up we have this right here. So this is a cube twist, like fusion. Mirror blocks, I don't know. It's like Siamese, maybe. 
this turns very, very well. You can turn it like this, but you can turn these layers like this up here. So I guess it's kind of like a bandaged one uh, in a way. This is pretty interesting. So if you move the top out of the way, then you can turn it like this. It kind of works as two units, as this unit and then as this unit. And so these two top layers just need to get out of the way. And once they get out of the way, then you have this whole unit down here. And then uh, vice versa with up here. If you move these out of the way, then you have a whole unit down here to work with. Um, so that's how that mechanism type of thing works. That's how this is supposed to be. Now, just from looking at it from the outside, it has a similar look to the Yushin. It looks like the same mirror block, which is kind of interesting. I don't know it, if there's like a story behind that as far as knocking off puzzles or something like that. I don't really care. They definitely look to be, yeah, the center caps too. They have the holes on the edge, very similar. That means that somebody knocked off somebody here, but uh, I don't think it really matters. So yeah, that would probably be an interesting solve. This is something I will not mix up right now, just because I know I can solve this, but I don't know if I can solve this uh, in a reasonable amount of time. So I'll mix it up another time and see how it goes. So I want to give a big thank you to whoever sent me these puzzles. I'm not, again, I'm not sure who that is, but... Uh, thank you to them. I enjoy the mirror blocks puzzles, and I'm I'm sure I'll be using these. So I really appreciate it. All right, so I'm back again, and here I have another package from Light Take. Now I wasn't able to post the original video um, by itself, and then I received this package. So I thought, well, might as well just combine them if I got both of them. Now I'm not sure what's in this package, um, but I wanted. Thank Late Take for sending this stuff to me. In the last video, I wasn't so sure about who actually sent this to me. Um, but after I recorded that video, I later confirmed that it was indeed Light Take. Oh. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is a X-Man Tornado. So I originally thought that it might they might have accidentally sent me the same thing twice. But... It doesn't seem to be the case. Um, this is a cube that I had been interested in. Um, I felt it before, and it has a pretty interesting feel. Um, I don't think it can be a main or anything like that, but I've wanted one, so uh, big thank you to Light Take for sending this over. Okay, so I'm sure you guys know a lot about this cube already. Um, but this is from X-Man, which is a sub-brand of Chi, if I remember correctly. Uh, this cube has a very bumpy feel from what I remember last feeling it. Um, and some interesting cuts that notably do not have squared off corners. Uh, so let's get into first turns. Okay, so a lot of people have different mixed opinions on this uh, cube. A lot of people say that it um, gets a bad rep, and a lot of other people just say it deserves that bad rep because it's not good. Um, I think I'm going to be more on the side of this cube doesn't really deserve a bad rep, at least out of the box I feel that way, because um, it's not nearly as bumpy as the ones I have felt um, especially at um, Big Apple Cube Clash, I felt one that uh, Cube Depot had at their station, and it was just like ridiculously bumpy. And every time you would turn the puzzle, like you could feel it bump along. And that extreme of a feel, I don't think anybody will like. This does not seem to have that. I mean, it, it's it's certainly bumpy. But it's 
decently fast, and I don't know, it seems pretty controllable to me. I am getting a few catches, but that's to be expected with the cube out of the box. But yeah, I, I can't say that I'm overly impressed, but I'm definitely not disappointed in this puzzle. It's uh, pretty good so far out of the box. Once again, I would like to give a big thank you to LightTake.com for sending me these puzzles. The uh, X-Men Tornado is something that I've been eyeing and I thought I might buy for myself, so I'm very happy that they sent it to me. I'll leave a link down below in the description where you can buy these cubes. Anyway, that's about it for this one. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them down below, and that would be much appreciated. Like, share this video, and follow me on social media in order to be awesome, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.